Thank you, everyone. Um, welcome to B Sides 2023. We're very excited to have you all here. We have an amazing lineup this year. Um, it's it's surprising how much we've grown since last year. Um, more than even we expected, by far, could accommodate. Um, but we're really glad to have all of you here, um, speakers and attendees and sponsors and everyone. Um, I'm just going to go through a few housekeeping rules and just in general what to expect from the conference and some logistics. Uh, so firstly, uh, just the five evacuation, um, we have two stairs, the main in the center of the venue and on the side, just use the ones to the side and you'll see most of the rooms such as this one have fire exits at the back as well. Uh, on most floors we also have bathrooms. Um, then in terms of if there's an emergency or whatever case, uh, just grab the nearest organizer or volunteer. Uh, you can identify us by either our t-shirts or by our badges. So the organizers will be wearing dark blue t-shirts and the volunteers gray t-shirts. Your uh, speakers and workshoppers have white t-shirts and then the humans, the attendees, which will probably not be wearing their t-shirts currently, um, have black t-shirts. And then also there's the badge. Other than that, um, Moving over to a few things that we have other than the talks running today. Uh, you might have seen this on our social media, um, but we have quite a few activities that you can take part in. Uh, firstly would be the Capture the Flag that we're running. Um, you can register over that address. It's already been running for a week uh, and it ends uh, later today at 4 p.m. Secondly, we have a scavenger hunt. Um, this is something new that we're doing this year. It's something for everyone. Um, you'll see, my may or may not have noticed QR codes absolutely everywhere. Um, they form part of the challenge. So if you get a chance, head over to the website and uh, maybe you can win some exciting prizes. Then after that, um, we have a vending machine uh, run this year by Orange Cyber Defense. If you were here last year, you might have noticed it. Uh, hopefully this year it's in a bit more working condition. <laughs> But uh, I've been told they still need, to need some time to make some tweaks. Um, so maybe later today, head up there and play around with that if you want. On to the next one. I mean, AI has been the craze this year, absolutely. Um, so Goose has built us his own AI challenge. Uh, some of you might have done some of these previously, those where you have like Gandalf or something and you need to get the AI to tell you uh, a secret. We have one of our own this year, built by Goose. Um, you can also go and check that out. That's opening at 10.30, so that's just after the opening and such, and then that runs till uh, three o'clock this evening. And then we have a, on our workshop track, we're gonna have an elastic CTF later today. That runs for two hours. Um, I believe this set up for two, yeah, about two hours. Um, setup is going to be about a half an hour to an hour there. You can go and sit in that room, take part of the CTF or anywhere else in the venue. It is an online CTF. Before that, we'll have two other workshops running today. We also had workshops yesterday. Um, for today, you don't need any tickets for the workshops. Uh, you can just show up, but make sure it's, it's, it's first come, first serve. Um, so if you're going to be late, you're most likely not going to get a space there. Then for CTF, if, if you don't have enough reason already to participate there, um, I can give you some better ones. So in terms of prizes this year, uh, we have some things sponsored by uh, Altered Security and, and Offsec. Uh, we also have some smaller prizes ourselves. So we have about three CRTPs to give away, um, three CARTPs, the Azure certs. Um, we have two Offsec 200 vouchers with 90 day lab access to give. Uh, as well as one one year um, access on the offsec uh, platform as well to give away, and then some smaller other stuff such as OMG cables, lockpick sets, uh, and some other small things. Some of which will be tied to specific uh, challenges and such, such as the vending machine uh, or such. Then moving over to the workshops today, we are hosting two workshops. Uh, the first run by Colin, um, that'll take place just after the opening keynote. Um, that will run from 10.50 to 12.20. Uh, 
And then we have a second workshop uh, by Mikhail on Defenders Den. That is an offensive and defensive workshop that runs in a virtualized environment um, that it shows you how to attack and defend an AD environment. Those are sponsored by Okta, and then we have Elastic hosting the one workshop, and 42Crunch, with, who is with Colin, hosting the API workshop. Then in terms of talks, um, we have a very packed schedule. Um, it was really hard turning talks uh, down this year. Don't, don't expect to read that at the right side. I can't fit it on the screen. Um, you'll see on your badge at the back side, uh, there is a QR code that'll take you to the pre-talks website that has the entire schedule. Um, I do recommend viewing it in, in desktop mode. Um, it is bad on mobile, but we can't do much on that. It's uh, three tracks. Um, so just in terms of logistics, um, as people leave late on the day, uh, we have track three closing at 3.30 uh, uh, p.m. and then track two closing at 5.15. So then only track one will be uh, open after that. Um, you'll notice the tracks don't start at the same time. That is absolutely intentional. Uh, we don't want everyone to be moving between tracks at the exact same time. We have a lot of people here. So we just have them staggered so that people can uh, move independently. But with that, with that noted, um, do keep the uh, presenters in mind when you enter venues, either during a session, uh, a start, like either leaving during a session has started or coming in after a session has started. They are busy presenting. Try to interrupt them as little as possible um, because there's going to be a lot of people coming in and out. Um, other than that, um, there is one non-recorded talk on track one. We will clearly outline that with um, with our volunteers, as well as having uh, stickers or uh, uh, displays uh, that show there's no recording, audio, visual, or photos allowed on that track. Uh, but other than that, um, you can take pictures and such on the other tracks. Then moving over. Um, We've been running this conference for quite a long while, uh, but this year we've had a lot of sponsors, and we're really thankful for that, because at the end of the day, we can run this conference without sponsors, but not nearly at this level. Um, they also allow us to keep the ticket price for this conference at the level that it is currently. Um, we don't want to be charging 15,000 for an entry ticket, and then have people like students not be able to attend. Um, so we're really thankful for all our sponsors this year. Um, they really helped make this conference what it is. Uh, and especially, I want to give a shout out for Obscure. They've been really accommodating and helpful this year as well. And they are also our platinum sponsor. Um, we have a bunch of gold sponsors here as well this year. Um, we also want to thank our silver sponsors. And then lastly, our bronze sponsors. Sponsors, sorry. Um, we also have some community and AV sponsors this year, just uh, on that side. And then, other than that, um, enjoy the conference. Um, I will then hand over to um, Obscure for a quick introduction and welcome. Uh, and after that, we will be kicked off by Dominic White over there with the opening keynote. <laughs> Thank you. Got our wolf on. We're good. As I um, good morning, B side Skype Town. Um, I think it's fitting that a marketing person is actually opening this conference because I'm really appreciating um, the electrifying energy in this room. It's amazing. I'm Sarita Skuman. I hate marketing for obscure technologies, and being in this industry for about seven years, it's actually. Um, I, I don't think I was going to get here and feel goosebumps and getting all the feels from you guys. Um, I have this very somber image in my head and thinking that all my jokes are just going to go above your heads. So, uh, <laughs> so my, um, um, I've always been taught, and all our leaders from you know from grade one has always taught you um, never be in a room where you are the smartest person. I think I've picked the exact room where I need to be today. Um, um, a little bit about Obscure for you guys who don't know. We are cybersecurity distribution. We are a pure bread 
cybersecurity distribution. You're more than welcome to go and check out our stack of products. Um, Charles has uh, shown me already at the back, no sales talk, no nothing like that. Um, I, I also just quickly want to go in and just say that from an obscure perspective, and it's very important, and we really feel passionate about the, the technical side of things. So Francois and Justin, Justin couldn't be here today, our founders and um, leadership executive team of our company. This company has been built on technical skills. They are both technical, and they um, commend themselves for always building that out. And that's the cornerstone, the backbone of everything that we do. Um, education first, we run an internship program where we take kids in that cannot go to varsity, but you all know that the industry that you've chosen is a lifelong varsity. So I commend you guys on that as well. Um, then I cannot say I cannot say it any better. Um, I really want to acknowledge the importance of cybersecurity and the collaborative spirits of the B-side community. Um, you guys are the cornerstone for everything that we do. Yes, we install and implement all sorts of fancy products and stuff that excites you from vendors across the globe. But you guys are actually our uh, guardians of faith, since it's dystopian theme. You are the Gilead custodians of a guardians of faith when it comes to cybersecurity. Um, I really am so impressed with the creativity coming from a marketing side um, for the B sites organizers for really going above and beyond to make this event so interesting and fun for you guys. Um, I really want to emphasize the importance for you guys to go around, network, um, talk to each other, and I'm sure that's happening because this is my first B-Sides, um, but if, um, go and talk to the sponsors and um, get engaged. You, you never know who you might meet. Um, I'm, a, um, I'm a happy CV collector, <laughs> so and I'm happy to pass them on, and if you're my little friend, I will always shove it across the, across the table. I also want to thank all the other sponsors, and it um, enlightens my heart when I look at that board, and um, half of the sponsors are either our partners or our vendors. Um, so that tells you our commitment from a broader community to support you guys. Um, I'm not going to tell this dad joke, <laughs> it's terrible, but I am going to do it because I've got a, a quickly made Tristan run to incredible connection in the past, last 15 minutes to quickly go and get me some aid. So if it's um, not working or not up to standard in this room, um, Tristan, where are you? Yes, you can go and discuss it with him. Um, the first, okay, then, then yeah, so let me do the joke. The first one who gets the answer, and this is an old one because then I know I'm going to get lots of answers. Why did the cybersecurity expert break up with their computer? Rara? <laughs> 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 if my boyfriend goes out with another girl, then uh, I, I will have. Yes, I say on the soup. Well, no, no. You, you you need to have a good self-image. Besides the fact that she's cheating on you. <laughs> oh, that was a bad example. Okay, I'm just gonna go like obscure technologies was created in 2016 on the 1st of April. Why do you call that day? There we go, Ivan, Cap, there you go, Tristan, please give him his headset. I want you guys to enjoy your day and have the most fun ever and thank you for this electric environment. I'm really enjoying it. I'm out. Bye. <laughs>